it's a little bit rainy today and I've run out of devotionals prematurely. But, uh, but anyway, let's try it kind of the, uh, the emergency way here. So we're reading from Zechariah chapter 10, verses 3 to 5. And let's talk about that. My anger is kindled against the shepherds, and I will punish the leaders. For the Lord of hosts will visit his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them as his royal horse in the battle. From him comes the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler together. They shall be like mighty men who tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle. They shall fight because the Lord is with them, and the riders on horses shall be put to shame. So God's against the false shepherds. He is against their false leadership. It keeps his people from being prepared for the, the intense things, the things we need to be ready for that are coming. Their lies, their false dreams, their, their false visions, their distortions of truth. Problematic for God's people. You want to be kind and gentle to people, but you've got people out there who are uh, pushing uh, just pure bizarreness out there. What do you do about that? Well, God will equip his people with what they need. You know, he sends his rain on the just and on the unjust. Uh, today he's sending quite a bit of rain. But he gives you the tent pegs that you need. He gives you the batteries that you need. He gives you this and that that you need. Uh, he gives his people all that they need, the, the leadership, the kind of people in the church that are needed. He gives gifts out to the people in the church so that they can do God's work in God's time. He gave gifts to the t people in the time of Zechariah. He is always on the job. So when we feel inadequate, we feel like, well, how do we solve this? Well, maybe we don't know immediately how to solve it, but God can show us how. And he says to Zechariah, God remembers, his name is God remembers, he says, hey, I am equipping my people with everything they need. I give you every single implement that's, that's useful. But well, we can trust him for that. So part of the battle is delivering people from false shepherds, false worship. At the end, you know, all this false worship turns in, it really is self-worship. That's what it turns into. So God's delivering us all from self-worship. So we want to be alert and uh, discerning between true and false worship. And that's going to come down to what? It's going to come down to uh, true worship always has the price, something you need to give up that is divinely given, that it's a give up thing. Uh, false worship has like this false humility plan, but there's always something that seems like it seems spiritual, but it's, it's just a big hocus pocus, it's just a big nothing. So we want to watch for the, and discern between the true and the false worship, and God will get us through there, even when it's a, a very wet time, we don't know what to do, we're out of time, and God can get us through, so. Anyway, this morning, uh, big face video, sorry about that. God bless you, though, and be with you today. God will provide all that you and I need. Mm -hmm.